Welcome to How Do You Cook Dash, presented to you today by the Broadmoor Improvement Association and Market Umbrella. I'm Bethany with the BIA. My name is Casey Davis and I'm with Market Umbrella. I'm Chef Chris Lynch from Achafalaya Restaurant here in New Orleans, here to show you how to cook chicken pot pie. You can also find these ingredients at the Broadmoor Food Pantry. At the BIA, we also assist folks with getting enrolled in SNAP benefits. So if you're looking for some additional assistance to feed your family or others that you know, please reach out to us and we'll be happy to help you get started. And once you have your EBT card, stop by one of our weekly markets to participate in our Market Match program where you can double your dollars on additional fresh produce. So we're excited to hand it over to Chef Chris Lynch. Chef, why did you choose this recipe for today? This is one of my favorite dishes. I'm gonna show you how simple it is to prepare lots of winter root vegetables, uh, tender chicken, and a buttermilk biscuit to finish it. Well, it looks and smells amazing, so we'll Can't let you wait. take it from here. Thank you. To start the pot pie recipe off, we're gonna make a roux, which is the probably most important uh, step to making pot pie, because it's gonna create the sauce, which everything is gonna cook and simmer and marry all these flavors together. So in our pot right here, in about a medium heat, we're gonna add our butter, and a roux basically is equal parts flour and a fat. Fat being an oil. Um, in this case, we're gonna use butter just for a little bit more flavor. So we are just gonna add that and let this melt. Once our butter is melted, we wanna add some flour, <clears throat> equal parts, and we just wanna whisk that into the hot butter so we don't get any lumps. And this is going to thicken the sauce for the chicken pot pie. And basically you're looking for a wet sand type consistency. And we're just gonna cook this, gently stirring it for three to four minutes to cook a little bit of that flour taste out. And if you were making a gumbo, you would cook it for a lot longer and get a lot more color in it. All right, folks, now we're gonna add our stock. This is chicken stock for the chicken pot pie. We're adding that to the roux, and we are gonna bring that up to a simmer. We're gonna cook that out for a little while. That's cooking along. I'm gonna bring that up to like a bubbly simmer. And we're gonna start adding our ingredients for our pot pie. We have potatoes and turnips and carrots and celery. We're gonna add that all in and stir it in there. So now we have all of our root vegetables in here and we're just gonna bring this up to a simmer until they're nice and, and tender. And add a little bit of water to that. Okay, now that we have simmered our root vegetables in our, in our chicken broth here. We're gonna add the most important ingredient, which is the chicken. And today I decided to do some chicken thighs. They're actually my favorite. They have lots of flavor, affordable. We are gonna season them. We got our salt and our pepper, and we're just gonna mix that up. Make sure it's well seasoned. And we are gonna stir that in and let that cook. And now we are gonna gently simmer our chicken with our vegetables until it's cooked all the way through. I'd probably say that'll take about 10 or 15 more minutes. All right, we have some beautiful fresh thyme here. We're just gonna pull this right off of the stem. And then we have some rosemary also. And then we're just gonna chop that nice and make sure we don't have any stem. And you can always use dried thyme leaves or dried rosemary if that's what you have. There you go, nice and, nice and fine, just like that. And we're gonna stir those in. Mm, this is looking really good. Our little crystal hot sauce here. Add a little bit, as much as you like, and a little bit of Worcestershire sauce too. And then we're gonna taste it. So we always gotta taste our food to make sure you have enough salt and pepper, spice. Mmm. I'm gonna add a little bit more salt to that, just a little bit. And a little bit more pepper. 
got some beautiful little fresh edamame to throw in at the end here just to heat it up. They've already been cooked and taken out of the shell. All right, we have our pot pie here, which we are gonna finish today. All right, let's finish our chicken pot pie with our nice buttermilk biscuit right here, and there you have it.